Hello friends, welcome to the Be Learning Club. In this tutorial, I will tell you how can you use the page loader. So after three or four seconds or after some seconds, the any web page will load. So here the index page or web page or the home page will load after three or four seconds. I will tell you the simple way so that you can create easily this page loader and you can use this page loader in your any web page. So let's start and stay with this video friends and before we start the video please do like and subscribe the channel so this is a very simple blog project so i have already created how can you create a blog website within 20 minutes so just see this video and now at first run the server python manage.py run server so now run the localhost here so you can see it so this is a very simple blog website this is the list view and this is the detail view this is the detail view and this is the list view okay so now open it with any code editor so here i use the vs code editor so this is the blog application and this is the models and here is the model my blog and here is the view list blog and detail blog this is the list page and this is for detail page and the templates are list html and detail html here is no base html so here i just created list html and detail html and now is the project settings and here is the url this url is mapped to blog.urls here is the blog.urls okay this is for list list view and this is for detail view okay so now go to views.py here is the list view and the function for list view is list block and here return render request list.html and the django variable is obj so now go to list.html and here is a for loop to grab all list means the all values from the object so here just comment out this okay now save it and now just run the server so run the localhost so you can see nothing okay so now go to the bootstrap here i use the bootstrap so just go to the bootstrap and just go to the bootstrap and search for any spinner So here is the all spinner. So I just copy this and now paste after the heading tag. So here I just give a class margin from top pipe and spinner border and here just I add text success. That means green color. Now save and now run it. So this is your spinner. So now here I will use Ajax jQuery. So for this just go to Google and search for Ajax jQuery. This is for those who don't know what is the jQuery, what is the Ajax. So just simply search for Ajax jQuery and now go to W3School or any website. So I just go to W3School and here is the example. I just click on try yourself and this is the source script for ajax and jquery and now copy it and now go to your visual studio code editor and now here at the top means before title so just here add this link okay so you can see it so script and this this is for simply ajax jquery and now this line is very important remember friends you have to add this line here means inside the head otherwise it will not work so now just scroll down scroll down and here at last here just type a script tag and here just type console dot log and just print hello world and this is very important guys hello world is very important for any programming so now save it and run the server 
okay so now go to inspect and now go to console here is the hello world you can see okay so this is absolutely fine now okay so friends here it is just commented out oh okay so just comment out this whole deep tag and now here just add a id for this spinner so for this spinner just add a id so here i create another deep tag and just put this inside it and just give a id here id is spinner okay so here just create another deep tag where you can grab the all value from the obj what is the obj obj is the django variable you will you already know about it so just go to here and now here just type id id equal list so now inside the script just type const create two variable so at first type const and now type spinner spinner equal so what is the id for the spinner uh, the id for the spinner is spinner so i just name it i, uh, I just renamed the id spinner1 and now here const equal spinner equal document document dot get element by id and just grab the id name what is the id name spinner1 so just copy it and paste here simple so now let's create the same thing for the list so const list equal document dot get element by id and just grab the id for the list what is the id for the list is list so i just renamed it list one so here just type list one okay so now what we have to do so here i use the ajax so just type dollar sign and type dot then type ajax okay so now type the first bracket and as well as the second bracket so here you have to type your ajax code at first you have to type the method of the url so just type and type is get okay so now what is the url for your home page or the web page you you are using this loader so i use this loader only for the landing page so here so for this i just type here class and now url is just for home page and now type success and for success i want to run a function so just run a function and response i guess response and just what is the response console.log obviously so console sorry c o n s o n console dot log and console dot log success just print success and if it's error so just type error e r r o r error not console dot error just only type error e r r o r and if this error so you have to type here comma obviously now type error and when it's error just run a function and just put a parameter error and here just type console console dot log and just type the error okay so here just put a comma again so now run the server uh, so you can see here the success is printed so now inside the success i just want to print another console console dot log and just print obj 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 is what obj is a django variable now save it 
and now run it again so this is not working so obj is a django variable i will check it so just go to views.py and list sorry list is the django variable and obj is this okay so list is the django variable and now go to list.html here just type list instead of obj just type list and save it and now run it so you can see it this is the query set it's absolutely fine now so now here just create a no display style so inside the head tag just type style tag and inside the style tag just create a class no display and just type display is not in line display is none and just copy this no display and i just use it at first for this title so here i just paste it no display and now run the server again python manage.ui run server so just run this so you can see the header tag is removed so just remove this no display and now save it and now run this so you can see the header tag now okay so here inside the script so inside the script and this is the success so inside the success just type spinner spinner is what spinner is this constant okay so spinner dot class list and now you have to add the class so just add this no display class okay so just add this no display class mm. and this is a spinner and this is the spinner constant and this is the id of the spinner okay this is the id of the spinner okay so now save it and run it okay you can see the spinner has removed okay so now it work fine so now i want to remove this spinner after some seconds so i have to use the set timeout so just use set timeout and now use the function array function key and now just type this and now use the second bracket here inside the second bracket just put this so just remove this copy this and remove this and put here okay so here just type the time interval what you want i here i use the 5 second so just type 500 or 4 second for 400 uh, sorry 400 for 4 second so now save it and run it okay you can see after four seconds it will remove so now here just use what list dot in our html so what is the list at first so so the list is this document dot get element by id list one so what is the list one list one is this deep tag so inside this deep tag i just want to print these all values okay so here just type list so lsid sorry constant is list list i just renamed it list list okay so now here use this list so type list dot and list dot inner html list dot this list this list dot in our html and just class equal and now sorry you have to paste the all html code for the for loop so i just copy this deep tag which i have commented out already so just copy this and paste 
inside this so just type this this is very important so now paste this okay so now it's fine just tapped and i just do some alignment here it's look beautiful now okay so now save it and after adding html so just run the server again so i think it's okay so now just run it okay so after 4 second you can see this is your home page or index page and you can grab the all of values so just run it so friends that's it for this tutorial see you in next video and don't forget to subscribe the channel and if you want to download the code so you can check the link in description below so just thanks for watching this video friends see you in next video